my name is Filippo Gorini. I am a 23-year-old pianist from Italy. I have been studying piano since I was six years old, but uh, I would say mostly seriously from the age of 12 or 13. Passion for music has been growing steadily in me ever since, and I'm very happy that now uh, I've made my profession out of it and, and my living. I was suddenly struck by the beauty of compositions, especially by Schubert and Beethoven, when I was young. And after that, I started working very hard to be able to play them myself in a, a respectable way, you know, to, just for the devotion to those pieces. And I was fortunate enough to find uh, amazing teachers and mentors in my life who helped me uh, gather more discipline, more method, more knowledge, and, and develop in, in, in maturity. And so throughout my studies, I've been improving and, and now I'm playing some concerts. Every concert is actually different because uh, every day is different, and every evening is different, and depending on what I've done on the day of the concert or the days before, if I've been traveling, if I've been practicing, if I'm very excited to play for the first time a new piece, or if uh, I am worried about something, every evening is, is, is actually really different. But from the moment I actually start playing, then everything else fades away and I am solely concentrated on the music that I'm making. And that is the most magical moment. When I was 12, I, I suddenly started taking piano studies much more seriously. And at home, I had the score of the Beethoven sonatas, and I remember I tried to, to read through all of them. Uh, of course, I didn't have the, the pianistic means to, to play even one of them properly at that age. But uh, since then I've tried every year to work on at least one or two Beethoven pieces. And uh, I think I'm starting to understand more uh, of his music and his soul. And of course I was able to, to win the Beethoven competition in 2015, which was a, a great step in, in, in my career. And it, it is difficult to say exactly what uh, attracts me uh, to, to his music more than, than others. As I think it's difficult in general to, to motivate uh, attraction and, and love. But surely some things would be uh, the, the ability that his music has to reach uh, people of all different kinds, uh, whether the highest intellectual or someone who is listening to classical music for the first time, a musician who has played for 50 years or an amateur. Uh, his music always reaches at, at different levels, but it reaches everyone across any boundaries of uh, age, culture or uh, geography. And this is something that not quite any other composer has, in my, uh, in my view, managed to achieve in, in the same uh, intensity. And then also the, hu the human content of his works, especially in the later works, there is always this tendency to express even the harshest, the, the most crude uh, aspects of, uh, of life, of his, sudden, of his suffering, of his deeply you know, bi biographical um, life. And at the same time, to never let those have the final word, but always find uh, redemption, sublimation. And this is the case, for example, in the Diabelli variations, where we reach uh, moments of, uh, of plight, of prayer, of, of desperation, but ultimately uh, everything that, that comes during the work is transfigured in the final celestial minuetto.
This is an age in which music is consumed at a higher rate than ever before in the history of mankind. We have music in every restaurant, in every bar, in every movie, in, in our phones, in our computers. And at the same time, there is no real knowledge and education of music. And this is a great waste because we have at our disposal the technology and the opportunities to listen to the greatest masterpieces of history and a lot of people still really don't know uh, the content of this. And to the people like me and to, to, to the mu classical music lovers, uh, these works are a source of, of joy, of deep commotion, of, of amazement and beauty every day. And I think it, I mean, it's really important to stimulate other people to, to meet these things that they are missing on. Outreach sessions with uh, schools, primary schools, high schools, middle schools. Uh, when I have these occasions, I try to, to really make them perceive the same things that first struck me. So to go deep into a piece and show them all of the richness that, that one work has and then tell them that there are so many more like it to enjoy and encourage people to go listen more, to go more proactively to concerts and uh, get interested. And I have always felt that uh, when we try to, you know, for example, play always the same simple uh, known tunes to, to young uh, children, they will get bored. If you play only Vivaldi, Furelise and Rondola Turca, they will get bored and think that classical music is just uh, boring. Uh, if you actually dare to play more complex works, but at the same time take the time to help them gain means to understand more and more of, of the same work, then the people figure out that all of their prejudices and whatever they knew or thought they knew is actually completely mi mistaken. <laughs>